Anderson Penn's podcast episode 398 for Thursday, June 9th, 2021. This is Brian. <laughs> this is Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. All right, um, go. So do you know why cows, pregnant cows, <laughs> have so much energy? No. They're heavily caffeinated. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and... Uh, and this is a twofer, a twofer, a twofer. Tuesday. Okay, a twofer, okay, because... Twofer Thursday. Because we're taking a break, so... All well, right. we'll get to that. I know. Uh, Steve Williams from I'm gonna California. Get you, I'm going to get you, Steve. Sent, <laughs> sent in this one. I like okay. it a lot. Wearing a second hand hairpiece may seem kind of gross, but it's a small price to pay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'll remember this. <laughs> Right. We, we, we are in nature today. We are. Since it's about 89 degrees. Yeah, it's a little toasty. Uh, but we have uh, we have some really hot products to talk about. Oh, nice. Nice, huh? So we're going to talk about this. These are probably gone by now. Retro 51. Gnome Sweet Gnome. This is adorable. This is cute. Um, it's got on the on the, the uh, sleeve here, we've got... Little little pictures of gnomes on there and framed pictures. So it looks like um, in a house, looks like grandma's house, you know, with all these picture frames of all the family members and they're all gnomes. Um, the top disc on the gnome sweet gnome has a little mushroom. It's really cute. <laughs> they're all their own gardens. It's just adorable. Yeah. Um, so this is the second popper of 2021. Um, I think they've done a, a really cute it's, job. It's adorable. It's really adorable. It's adorable. And then uh, it comes with the, uh, the the rickshaw sleeve, which... Which is separate. Uh, which is separate. It's like, optional. Yeah. Um, but it's got a little green lining in it, a little single sleeve. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's cute. It's really cute. Oh, it's fuzzy. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're a nice little sleeve, and yes. uh, and, and we, we got some of each, uh, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's probably sold out, but it's cute. We thought we should show it. I, uh, I really like that Retro is um, embracing the rickshaw cult status almost, um, where you know a lot of people are, are buying rickshaw sleeves for their retros. Some companies, um, we didn't do it only because I don't think rickshaw was really around when we first started our, our first few um, uh, exclusives. But I like that that's an option now, that if you want, you yep. can have a matching sleeve for your yep. cool popper. And you, you always know which one that exactly. is. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So I like the idea. So The uh, Namiki Emperor in Vermilion. Now, what's the deal with this? Like we have not, we've had these on order forever. We have not been able, no one has been able to get these. Yeah. Either they're, they're almost unobtainable. Ooh. Almost. Unobtainium. I was just going to say, isn't that some... So, yeah, this is actually, I think, maybe the first one we've had in Vermilion. We've had Yukari Royales before, we've had Emperors okay. in Black before, but finally, 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 we got one uh, in Vermilion, and wow, what a pen. Um, this is obviously oversized. If you're not familiar with it, we'll give you some, we'll, we'll give you some uh, comparisons here in a minute. You cannot have it. Uh, it is a number 50 nib. Now, keep in mind, uh, these are not marked like the old nibs that actually said 50 on them. So the new, all the emperors in the past couple of years don't have... Um, For size reference, yeah, it's just, this is the Retro 51 tube. Yeah. Here, let me turn that around so you can see. I mean, seriously. Yeah. This is yeah. a massive pen. Yeah. Look at that. It's the same size. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. So this, this is, uh, is unique. Uh, in, in the fountain pen world uh, in that this large of a pen is actually an eyedropper filler with ink shut off. So, and you can barely see, they did such a nice job on this blind cap. And, and then there's your blind cap and then it unscrews here and it comes with an eyedropper. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make a huge mess, but then it just unscrews, you fill it up. I mean, it's massive. You could fit another pen in there. Uh, you could fit a Shalana in there. Um, <laughs> what did we do that time? Did we take we put, the cap to something? I have a picture at a show, and I want to say it was uh, Baltimore. I took a cap from an emperor, and I put three Sailor Shalana fountain pens inside, inside the cap, and they fit. Now, of course, they're taller than that, but they <laughs> uh, they all fit with room to spare. Because they're uh, so skinny. Because they were so skinny. 
But uh, beautiful nib, uh, arushi on the feed. So Absolutely it's all gorgeous. nice and matching. Look at this cap. Now, what's really cool about Namiki is that they actually design, all of their makie are designed to post. They put a little felt lining at the end of the cap yeah. so that it will not, and this is completely obnoxious, it will not scratch the arushi. But it's it does huge. post uh, if you wanted it to post. That's huge. Um, it's, it's big. It's massive. Um, so this is available. We, we do have more on order, but... Who knows um, how long it'll be till yeah, it no comes. Yeah, no idea. This is, I was actually surprised to get this one. This is the fine medium. So this is the finest nib that they make uh, in the series. Uh, they do not make fine. They do not make extra fine. Uh, but uh, we have it in fine medium. If you want to compare it to... There's your Custom 74. Wow. Um, I got a vanishing point here. I mean, it's it's pretty huge. A little bit of red varsity. <laughs> so um, it's a big pen. Uh, comes in a beautiful box. Uh, presentation, of course, uh, and it, it's 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 really great. It's great to see one of these finally. You uh, cannot have actually, it. Actually, and I cannot have it apparently. But let me show you how this this works in the pocket. Now I've got a real short pocket today, but <laughs> just for fun, it. It almost it's clips. Not a pocket it almost clips in. Almost. <laughs> I think that's that's pretty good. Right next to my. Well, see, I've got a platinum here too. A little platinum, Machia. Yeah, no. So, um, anyway, Namiki Emperor Vermilion. Uh, we do have it available. I was picking out um, some cartridges and converters for a couple orders to ship out, and remembered that we now have, and we've had for a while, but Sailor um, has the uh, little two packs of ink cartridges. And uh, so I pulled a red brown for me because red, red brown. brown was a color, uh, I mean, you know, two cartridges, it's, it's, it's minimal commitment. Yeah. But yeah. The, uh, the red brown was a color that was not available for a long time and it kind of had holy grail or yep. cult status like parker penman sapphire yeah it was available in 50 mil bottles in 50 mil bottles, bottles but you couldn't find them anywhere so now uh, now you can get it cartridges. in cartridges so um i just cleaned all my pens and i'm putting it in my sailor with a broad nib okay. so i can really get a feel for the color uh, but these well, we've got what six colors yeah your standard black and blue black and blue and then there's um ah they're slippery little suckers. Sky blue and pink. And then... Sky blue looks like a nice turquoise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the red, brown, and the green. But we should mention it's not it's not Yuki Akari. It's no, a different... No, it's a separate <clears throat> color. Because yeah. you can get Yuki Akari cartridges uh, separately too. Yeah. So, But yeah, the red, brown is exciting. I, that was the most exciting uh, one out of that group for me because when I saw it, I'm like, oh, you know, those who know, know. Yes, so. yes, sort of like finding Parker Penman Sapphire yep. um, available again. So yeah. that was that was really cool. And uh, I'm gonna tr I cleaned like I said all my pens. I'm gonna do a little bit of rotation swap, okay. and then try some new inks. No, that red brown looks great. So yeah, I'm excited about um, that. On Sailor, new uh, just in well, within the, the last week. Yeah, we talked about it last week. Um, the Trinity. The Trinity, and I've got. I've got the standard here. It's very stealthy. It is very stealthy. It is shiny black. Like, uh, like Trinity's leather coat. Yes. Uh, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> um, you always wanted somebody to say that. Hello, Mr. Uh, Anderson. You know, pe people have been saying that to me. They, they, it's never stopped. Since the very first yes, one. Yes, people still say it to me. Hello, Mr. Um, Anderson. We've got the ion, uh, black ion ruthenium plated trim on these guys. Uh, and of course, the ion plated ruthenium nib, nib uh, on uh, 14 carat on the standard, 21 carat on the large uh, resin section. Of course, it comes in all seven nib sizes extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoom, and music. Uh, and uh, this is just really great. This, this pen, you know, we've had some stealthy pens in the Sailor lineup before, yes. but never in a slim size. That's uh, cool. And so if, if, if you like, you know, if, if the larges are too big, this is actually a nice, I, I've always liked the standard because it posted, it's, it's, it's really a great, great length. Um, unposted even still works. 
Uh, I've got a little bit larger hands, but uh, really super cool. Uh, the standard is great. Comes in a large as well. Um, but uh, new North American exclusive and they come, uh, the first batch that's coming in come with uh, an acrylic uh, pen, pen rest, rest mm -hmm. uh, that has the, the new Salem logo on it. And it looks great so you can keep it on your desk. Justin picked out um, a Tasha ink. I love their boxes. I just really like how compact everything is about the Tasha inks, all the different lines. Easy to ship. So Justin picked out the, uh, I'm gonna mangle this, Uguisu Olive Green. Perfect. Which is, that's a really lovely It's a color. really pretty really green. Really nice green. And so Justin said, let me read this. Give me this. Give me this. Let me see let this. You play with this. Um, yeah, that's nice. Justin said it was a nice green that's not too bright or in your face. It's dark enough to read um, once it's on the paper and it cleans up easily. Yeah. I know cleaning up is important to me. You, you know, <laughs> I hate I'm, to clean my pens. I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this swap okay. card here. And you know, and I see a little bit of, just a minor little bit of sheen. Of sheen. If you've got a broad nib, maybe a music or a zoom or something on a sailor, uh, I think that, you see that? A little mm -hmm. bit, there's yeah, kind of a little bit. brownish, reddish, little bit of sheen in there okay. maybe. Uh, depending on the paper, of course, and. Uh, um, nice. The nib, so. Great. Ni ni nice looking color. New from Faber-Castell. Yes. The, uh, this year's Op Art in Deep Water. I love this design. The design of the... The Op Art. Yes. This little... I just, it's kind of an engraving. It's, yeah, it's kind of almost a guilloche. Yep. Uh, it's just such a cool pattern. Uh, and every year they come up with a new color and every yes. year they're great. Every year. Um, so this is a dark blue. Um, it looks a little bit lighter because of the way that the engraving um, brightens it up a little mm -hmm, bit, but mm -hmm. uh, your classic ambition design. Yep. So ball po it comes in a ballpoint a or fountain a fountain pen and the fountain pen in uh, extra fine, fine and medium nib only. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, friction I've, fit cap, it snaps onto the back. I've always loved this size. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the ambition. It's nice. Uh, and like I say, these op arts, they've always been attractive. I remember the first one we had was the saffron, which I thought was just fantastic because it really looked like when you buy saffron you know it's only a couple of little little twigs and uh and it really really came across great i do love how it snaps mm -hmm. on um since it doesn't look like there's much to to uh hold it um there's a tiny little grip and it just snaps on and that way when you're writing enthusiastically oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, nice, really nice colors. They just came in, um, so they'll have this model. This, you know, they usually these last about a year. Uh, uh, sometimes they even last longer, yeah, depending. Yeah. So sometimes um, you can get last year's models, but yes, uh, uh, which is kind of nice because not, then there's no, there's no real rush. And you know, sometimes, sometimes I, I gotta admit, you know, it's, there's always this rush. You gotta be there's this, limited edition. This urgency and people yeah. are, you know. No, this is a very soothing, very soothing design. You can. There's no stress and drama yes. about, you know, if yes. you don't get it in the first 10 minutes, you're, yes. you're screwed. Yeah, and it's just a classic design. I really like the profile. The clip's great. Um, nice logo on it. I, I, I like it, really great. And, and it's hard to beat uh, a Faber-Castell steel nib. Keep in mind that Faber-Castell is a German company, so the nibs do run a little bit fatter. Yeah, yeah your extra fines aren't, aren't very extra fine. They're yeah. more fine, so. Yes. Uh, but yeah, good, good, good point. Extra fine, fine, medium. Super uh, smooth writing nib, but if you're yeah. debating between two, um, if you like a finer nib, definitely yeah. opt for the thinner option. Yes, yes, yes. So, size anyway, down. That's brand new uh, and just in, and so we're excited about that. We have a, uh, a small restock of uh, some of the Ackerman uh, just came in, uh, and uh, they're coming in batches. Uh, this time we got, we, we did get some number five. Uh, so we, we got numbers closer to the beginning of the uh, of, of the the series. Uh, last time we got the latter half. Yeah. So now we got like one through I don't remember what it was uh, eight, eight, nine, ten, something like that. So we did get some Ackerman bottles. Um, these are the regular series, not the Dutch Masters. So these right. are the, the regular size bottles, um, and uh, those just came in. And we know a lot of you are waiting for these. Uh, so are we. It's just been a bit of a, a painful process to get them in. 
Um, it's been a couple months since we ordered them. So. Yes. Uh, but uh, check those out. Those are available. We also have samples, of course, yes. on all that. Uh, we will be taking a break from the podcast for a few weeks, um, summer break, and um, looking forward yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, we'll take a couple weeks off, uh, which is good. Uh, but we do have to come back because we've done 398, so we really should do. <laughs> we really need to get yeah. up to 400 We're if not nothing else. Done. We're just taking um, a little break for a couple weeks for the summer. Yeah, so uh, a couple weeks off. It's been uh, unseasonably hot here in Wisconsin. Yes. Um, like literally, I mean, it was 90 degrees the other day, oh, and that doesn't ever happen until. Usually, it's like know, three August, days in July. July, August, it gets yeah. hot, and here it's just been, it's been nuts. Yeah. So. so uh, and, and there's there's other things going on, so um, you know, vacations and things like that. So we're, uh, we're just gonna yeah, keep just, it low key for the next month. Exactly. Do, should we mention the things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks? Yeah. Uh, normally I don't talk about things that are coming up, but Brian said just before we started, okay, let's not talk about it because we're not going to have it. <laughs> All right. So there are a couple new releases from Sailor. Yes. Actually, a couple things coming out uh, to keep in mind. Of course, um, the 110th anniversary is coming up in just a couple of weeks yes pens are coming now of course the anniversary of course was the 27th of last month i realized you can have uh, one of those it's on air maybe make sure that maybe. recording works justin <laughs> uh shiragani kiragani are coming out um those are coming at the end of the month uh very limited quantities we are getting our allocation so if you have signed up for a uh, back of stock notification you will get an email uh, my suggestion to you is is to jump on that right away i know some of you have signed up for both so um, but they're great. That sterling silver, awesome. The black looks fantastic. I'm, Which I'm, one are you leaning toward? I'm getting the sterling silver. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely getting the sterling silver. Right. So there's one less sterling silver <laughs> <laughs> for everybody else. Uh, but uh, anyway, those are coming out. Uh, the new sailor, um, Sunset Over the Ocean. Is that correct? Did I get it right? It's, I think so. It's red, white, and blue. It's a red and blue, essentially. Uh, that pen is coming out sometime this month, which is great. Um, <laughs> The dogs are excited, and the new summer, uh, the new um, rain series. You've got um, these. These are cool. I'm really excited about these. In fact, I may have to have one. Um, they. <laughs> you can have one. <laughs> one set. <laughs> so these are the Pro Gear Slim size. With first time Sailor has done this. A well, first time in a long time. First, well, yeah. yes. Well. Um, a 21 karat nib on a these slim. only yep. Pro Gear Slim. Um, there is uh, Spring Rain, which is a really pretty kind of a sage green. Um, sort of reminds me of the Apres Ski from the um, yep. cocktail yep. series. Yep. Now, the other cool thing about these, these are a matte finish, yeah, all matte. which is really interesting. It is, it is nice. Um, so. And then Summer Rain. Let's see if I can do these. I just added them, but I'm trying to remember. Was Summer Rain the... There's a, there's a lovely teal. Yes. Uh, which is probably Summer. Uh, um, autumn Drizzle. <clears throat> And then um, winter rain is pink. I remember that. So. Then there's a purple and a teal, and I just don't remember which is which. And I'm sorry. They're great. The, uh, n normal, normally, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, well, the sailor's coming out with a new pen. They just put a new color on it. You know, this time around, the, the, the matte finish, the 21 karat nib. Um, 21 karat bicolor. Bicolor, yes. Yeah. And and, and even even the finials, I think, are, are, are very well matched up. I like that they're different. Yeah, it's um, not just an, it's, it's not, not just really another, just color. another color. They've, they've done a couple things right. to it, um, but those are coming out. Um, very limited quantities. Uh, they come in medium fine nib only. Correct. So Pro Gear Slim, twenty one karat bi color medium fine nib, uh, yes. and those are those are coming likely before we we get back. So three releases from Sailor in the next um, mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks. Thanks so much for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, whatever else we post. And then, of course, there'll be updates uh, regarding our Chicago store. Yep. Uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Um, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you in uh, a few weeks. Bye.